Well, good afternoon, y'all. Jim here with Simple Life Tennessee. Today, I got something different for you. We're getting ready for deer season, and we're gonna take this little patch of land here. As you can see, I got the four-wheeler over here outside with some spray. We're gonna spray this down and kill all this. We're gonna turn this into basically a transition food plot. It's not gonna be a main honey hole food plot. This is really for them to be passing through the area. Now, once I get good coverage on this and this gets sprayed down and it dies, we will then come in here and I have a pole behind disker and we will disc up this area right here. Then once we're done with that, I will use a food plot blend that I'm gonna show you here in just a minute. y'all so we got that first food plot taken care of that sprayed down that'll die off in the next three to four days once that's dead we will come back in here we're gonna till that up like i said see if we need to do some lime and fertilizer but last time we checked the the soil test on it was perfectly fine then we'll get our seed in we'll get that covered up we'll get that watered hopefully we're gonna have a good food plot let's go take a look at food plot number two that we're gonna get started on and do the same process all right, y'all, so this is spot number two. We're gonna spray all this down. I got some brush and debris I gotta clear out of here first. We're gonna spray all this down. Mike from Arrigo Outdoor Adventures will actually be hunting and he'll be sitting right here at this tree stand. We're gonna get this all sprayed down, get it cleaned up. Like I said, once again, same, same process. Get it sprayed down, get it tilled up, get our seed in, get it covered up, get it watered, get ready for an exciting deer season. Here we go. All right, y'all, like I said, we just got that sprayed down. We're gonna give that a few days to die. Once that dies, we'll be, I'll bring you guys back and uh, we'll get that tilled up. All right, y'all, well, this is where we sprayed it down. You got, you saw me apply that on here. Now we just mowed it down. So the next step we're gonna do from here, and you can see that got it down pretty good. We probably could hit with the second spray, but we're actually going to till it up now. And then we're going to plant our food plot. There's the second step. I'm actually going to weed it a little more around this. That's going to be a burn pile this winter when we finally get there. And uh, well, anyway, I'm going to weed it around this, clean it up some. We're going to till this up. We're going to get our seed planted. And then uh, we're, getting, we're looking forward to a very exciting 2024 2025 deer season so right over there is my tree stand i'm about to do some work on that right now put up some camel skirting around it so i'll be a little more a little less visible to the animals and uh stay tuned we'll show you how that turns out all right y'all so i'm up in the tree stand and i just put the skirting on i took the zip ties got it to the height that i want it and then i just put the zip ties on there came all the way around I'm going to climb down and show you what this looks like. But what this does is it allows me a little more movement with my legs and my feet. and doesn't give me away to the wildlife. So let's get down and take a look at what it looks like. So that's what the skirting looks like from underneath the tree stand. If you were directly underneath it, you can see how it hides my, my body. Okay. I'm going to walk back about 10 feet here. And if you're an animal and you were to look up, 
it's gonna hide everything perfectly except for probably my head, depending on what angle you're looking at. That's why I put it up there. Let you get away with a little more movement. Let's talk about hunter safety. In the earlier video that you guys saw me do, I did should have showed you, I was wearing my safe line. You should always have these. So these are Prusik knots right here. So what happens is I will actually be doing a video on this. I'll show it to you guys. It'll be down the line from this one. Is as you push this up with your hand, as you push that up with your hand, this is connected to your harness. So if you go to fall, it immediately catches you, okay? One of those knots will kick in. So if you're hunting from an elevated position, you should always have this attached to you and immediately it will kick in and you're not going anywhere. So that goes all the way up to my tree. Once I get up there, I take the carabiner off and my tether and I attach it to my tree strap that's up there. And that way the whole time I'm up there, I'm safe. And when I'm not using it, it gets tied to the tree there. So it's out of the way. All right, y'all, you saw me spray down the fields. We got them mowed down and now we're bringing out the beast. <laughs> Not really the beast. Four wheeler with a tiller attachment. We're gonna take this up to the first plot and we're gonna get that tilled up for you guys to show you what that looks like. I'm also gonna show you what happened to me. I've been down for a couple days. When you're doing the stuff, you gotta be safe. And I'll show you the results of that here. So y'all, as I showed you in the pictures earlier in this video, right there where it's all burned out, I was actually weed eating this edge like we talked about. And I'd gotten the majority of this done and I got within about a foot of that burned area there and I got lit up by a whole nest of yellow jackets. I'm highly allergic to them. So I got out and got as much, uh, got the treatment I needed. And then I uh, let some friends and family members know what happened and they came and took care of that issue really fast for us. So I appreciate them for that. Love you guys. Um, and yeah, so that's what happened there. Just always be cautious, especially in the months of September and October. If you're going to do any type of landscaping in an area that you have not disturbed before, there's a really good chance there's probably going to be hornets or yellow jackets or some sort in there. So just uh, make sure you're paying attention and you have a game plan in case you do have a, uh, a situation like I did. All right, y'all, Mike is going to switch four wheelers. His attempt to pull this with his popped out his back left axle so that wheel is not even turning at all. So he's gonna take that back slowly. He's gonna bring back my four wheeler. We're gonna to to switch it up there and then uh, go from there. We'll see what happens. All right, y'all, so that's what she looks like now that we've tilled her up and we've ran the rake over her, or we some people call it a drag. All we did is kind of broke up the clumps, brought all the grass, clumps of grass up to the top. They call it debris or duff off the top. So when I plant the seed tomorrow, it will have great seed to soil contact. All right, y'all, now we're starting on Mike's food plot area. So one of the things you need when you're getting your food plot prepped to be able to put down the seed, you gotta make sure you have a yard rake, okay? But if you get the light duff off of the ground there, and what I mean by duff is debris, grass, anything that's been killed, twigs, rocks, we're gonna get those out of the way. Okay, so once it gets thick like it does right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch from the light yard rake and go to a heavier, gardening rink. That's going to help me get that off of there easier.
All right, now that we got the majority of the duff off the field, let's go and start throwing down some seed. All right, y'all, so this is my first food plot. And I was just advised that I should have left the, we had already sprayed some fertilizer or some uh, glyphosate and killed the top weeds and all that. And I was advised I should have left that on there as a cover crop or as a way to protect it and that it will eventually uh, give nutrients to the crop. Comment below if you've done food plots before, if that's true, um, if that's just a preference. All I know is from my research, from what I did, I needed to get that all the way down so I get the best seed to soil contact. You let me know down below in the comments if it's your first time ever planting a food plot, first time ever watching a food plot video. Uh, what would you do differently? Okay, we're all gonna learn this process at the same time and grow from there. Let's get some more seed down. All right, y'all, an update for the uh, upper food plot, or the one I'm gonna be hunting from. It did not take as well, so I don't know if you guys see these little pieces popping up here now. We seeded this a second time. Winter rye and some winter wheat to try to fill in those areas. I mean, the middle part of the plot did phenomenal. We were just hitting it on these edges here on the outside. So that will eventually take hold and, and kick in. And yeah, I'm excited to see what's gonna happen this uh, this season. We're about to have those videos out to you guys. Opening day is right around the corner. And uh, guys, leave your, your thoughts in your comments below. If you've ever done a food plot, have you ever had it fail, be successful? What are your tips and tricks? What should I not be doing? All right, y'all, so we just wanted to give you an update here on the food plot. This is food plot number two which is where Mike from Arrigo Outdoor Ventures will be hunting. And as you can see, it's actually coming in extremely well. Once again, this is just a little honey hole food plot. We had Hurricane Helene come through. Helene, Helene, however you want to say it. And she actually dropped some trees over there. We got those processed and out of the way. There's the tree stand. There's the food plot. Looks like it's doing good and we definitely are having some visitors already come in here. Look at that. That's what you want to see. That is definitely what you want to see. The deer are already coming in here, taking advantage of the food plot. So that is, that is really good. All right. Okay, so got a little slow growth here in the back. We're not supposed to have any rain for two or three weeks, but I think uh, for the time we got it in and how quickly we did it, looks really good. You guys tell me what you think. On that same regard, we got our trail camera right there.
I hope you all enjoyed the video. We just wanted to show you real fast how we're getting ready for deer season. First time ever throwing a food plot in. Don't think I did too bad. I actually think I did pretty good and I was able to recover in some of the areas. But uh, if you guys enjoyed these videos and you want to see more of them, hit that thumbs up button. Leave a comment down below and uh, share this with someone else. As always, we appreciate y'all. Remember, the best things in life are kept simple. We'll see you again soon on Simple Life Tennessee.